Hey guys, welcome back. It's Super Cali, aka Mike here, bringing you guys another episode of Grand Theft Auto Story Mode. We, uh, we kind of already heard this in the last episode, but in case you want to recap, while we drive. Oh, whoops. I'll put some coffee on that. I'll see you soon. <laughs> um, anyways, so in the last episode, Franklin told us that the O'Neill brothers are looking for Trevor, and we have to go deal with them. So that's what we're gonna go do. When I logged in, he was all the way up at East Bum Nowhere, and I have to drive all the way back to the boonies. I've I've made most of the arrangements for the Polito score. All we need is that military hardware so you can move on the convoy when you can. What the hell? Wait, what is... I'm like, get out of here. Can you not? Ah. I was stopping bad people. I thought I was doing a good thing. Well, this is just chank. Okay. Great. Police. I just have to go really slow behind them and hope nobody Hey, I think some of those are about to get loose. As long as they don't turn around. Come on, it's one star. Just get out of here. So I can do my mission. Shit. Uh, leave it to me to get into trouble before the mission starts and all this shnight happens. I'm too close to the police. Okay. Whew. Now we can get back to business. I thought I was going to be in a world, a world of pain for a second. So, we're on our way to Trevor's place? Or his work, where Chef usually is? You know, where the drugs happen? I hear, we're going to one of those places, I'm not sure which one. But we have to do uh, heist setup stuff, so we'll probably do that maybe um, either in the next episode or the episode after because Franklin has another assassination to do. I thought it was Lamar, but it's Lester um, for assassinations. We really I don't have to, I don't have time for this person anymore. I guess we're gonna help her too. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Wait, what? Uh -huh. Thanks. No. This is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short trust, rude, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do? Now, where does want me to go? I'm not doing this right now. This kind of. Thing. I kill her. At least a couple of old sharks living, but along you came. Thank God. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years. Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Yeah. Where are you going? Okay. And what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood Hills. What's going on Okay, I'm sorry. I... He's been stressed out, really worked... ...working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. I can't shoot her. Or maybe it's two. I knew I'd be 
creepy psycho. Oh. I wanted to kill her, but whatever. Come on. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy... <laughs> that bullet hole, though. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you wanna sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. <laughs> She's got the wife oh, working. Man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah. You know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah, sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. This green tent, though. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. <laughs> so typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving. <laughs> huh? I'm oh, die. these two. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't stay it up. out too late. I don't think she's unhappy that you got kidnapped. I think she's having a pretty good time. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Oh, we're switching. That was bright. This is very bright. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> no, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. There's too many of them. I just gotta stay hey, on man, them. Me and Chop on these bunks. We coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your best Pucci condo. When one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. 
Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company oh no, don't make me take the chopper. Right off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. <gasps> Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey dog, can you like get on it? Cause these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. Alright. Which is I really don't want to have to get in the chopper and fly it around. Please don't make me. My great writing skills. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, they're right there. Oh, stop. Elk in the road! Oh, fuck! Chop's gonna have to help me. Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? Are they dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Yep. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Oh, boy. Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. <laughs> and look, what are they, graffiti yet? Oh my god. Because I broke their house. The contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Oh, oh, hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Because I blew them up. Ah, what's with all the questions? Can you just take my side for once? <laughs> Is that ring where I'm supposed to go? Okay, where'd he go? Move your sights up a little. I might have seen him. Mark, there's something! 
Did not see that coming with the rocket. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh god, no. Come on. Oh. oh god. Come on. Come on, Chop. 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 Burn you dick. Chop, get it. Come on, Chop. Can I just shoot him? Last guy's done, homie. All right. I should have just there. killed him in the first place. I don't know why I didn't just kill him. <laughs> Coming a little too hot. Get it! Get it! Yes, please, get in. Leave all the dead bodies. <clears throat> wow. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Is the dog getting in? There we go. Excuse me. Explain why they wanted you dead. Oh, didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? No, nope, you didn't. Oh, <laughs> I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. I'm the yeah. wrong party. You are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for show. He likes to play the victim, doesn't he? Oh shit. Here we go, taking her down. Okay, no. Like literally way too fast. I'm so bad at stopping. <gasps> oh god, that was close. Why can't I just get to the mark? Don't feel good, huh? Help a <sighs> friend in need. Come on, chop. Come was on. close. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. 
Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Alrighty then. 75%. Oh, I didn't get headshots. Well, in my defense, I couldn't actually see anybody. Mission time was b below 15 minutes. I don't know why I didn't get a check for that. But, whatever. It is what it is. A, con a convoy is being delivered. A convoy is delivering military equipment at HS. So, guys. Um, we got a heist here to do. We got a... Any more? Oh, apparently that's the only one we have right now. Oh yeah, we only have to do one thing for the high setup. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing the assassination for Franklin. And then we'll come back and do the setup for the heist. And then after that, we can do the actual heist. So yeah. It's all good. Okay, guys, so that is going to be it for me for this episode of Grand Theft Auto Story Mode. If you like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're new, I do post videos every day. This is like an every third day kind of thing. And follow me on Twitch because I live stream every day from 5 Eastern Standard Time to a very long time after that and on the weekends at 3. So, yeah, I love you all. Be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.